how to use your templates in a document library. That is what this video is about. I'm Paul Kaisers and I help businesses with SharePoint and Teams Copilot for a living. That's why you can be sure that after watching this video, you know how to add a template to your document library. But let's jump in it, into it. So here I already have my SharePoint site available and I use the default SharePoint site. Nothing serious, nothing uh, changed. So it's all uh, at uh, the same level uh, of the site contents. So here I go to documents and when I go to documents and I click on new, I find here that I can add a template. And if I do so, I am just select a template. So let's do, uh, uh, let's check out a template. Why? Uh, let's uh, click on dot X and uh, open it. Now I added this template, it's uploaded, but where it's uploaded, uh, it's behind this li library. So you cannot edit anymore. But here we see, I can click on brief papier, which is uh, a Dutch name, but it doesn't matter. What I see is it gives me this error. You are trying to open a template. Yes, of course I'm opening a template because it's a .x. Uh, would you like to open it and edit as a standard document? Uh, well, no, I don't want that. So that's something that's really strange. And uh, that's something that is not possible at this moment. But as we are not uh, uh, the ones to catch for one, uh, we are going to delete this and uh, delete the file. So it's moved out again. And now we are going to click and add the template again. And now I'm going to click on this template doc. Again, that's uh, added. And if I click on template, it seems to be working. So here you see it's uh, got my initials, uh, etc. It looks good, but uh, you have to be uh, intelligent or curious what happens when, uh, for example, uh, now I want to change this template and I made some changes. It's not possible. At least you have to go through every template every time. So this is something you don't want. If we go to the library settings and we go to more settings, Loading. Here we are in the library settings and I can go to the advanced settings. And here I can select the template. As you can see, there's already one. I can edit it here, but still it's only one uh, template. So this is still not the way to go. So. What would you suggest Paul to do? Uh, that's the main question. Uh, in this case, I would go to the settings menu and now you have to be uh, looking at the what I'm going to do. I'm going to create a content type per uh, template. So here we are. I'm going to se se select content types. I'm going to create content type and I'm going to say, okay, uh, template demo, uh, because it's a demo. I uh, create, a, let's see if there's already a category. Well, I create my own category, demo templates. And uh, here we can select what is the parent template com uh, content type, which is documents, because we are going to inherit the document content type, which exists of title. Then the content type, and we are going to select content, uh, document. Now I click on create. 
And now we have our uh, uh, content type available. That's great. That works pretty fine. So now I'm going back to uh, to my site. Let's do it like this. And um, I'm going to create a new uh, library just for uh, for templates. I'm going to call it templates. By the way, if you like this video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to my channel. I really need it uh, to get uh, more views and to make more content for you. So it would be great if you subscribe and like my video. Library. Meanwhile, I created a template, a library. And uh, in the template library, we are going to upload a file. In this case, we are also going to upload the doc docx template. Now, this is really important. We have to go to the I for information or the details pane. We're going to select this. Now, at the bottom, we can copy the path. So that's the direct path to this template. Now I'm going back to documents and here we go to uh, the uh, library settings again, more settings. And then we are going to uh, advanced settings. And here we are going to say allow manage content types. Yes. Now. Uh, we are going to click on OK. Don't forget that because that's uh, else it's not saved. And now we will have the availability to add uh, existing content types. So we are going to do that. Add from existing content types. By the way, if you have uh, more metadata you want to add to it, then you can do that as well. I'm going to uh, select our content type, which we created earlier. And uh, here we go. Uh, I'm going to click OK. Now you see that we have two uh, items. We have the document, which is the default, and we have the template demo. To get this to work, we are going to change the new button order. And we are going to deselect document. So the only content type available for us is this one. And I'm going to click OK. Now, after I done that, you see that this is the default one. It's only available. So let's go back to documents. Now, if I go to documents and I click on new, I will have, and I don't know why it's still the old view because it should already say the new one that's strange uh, but let's select the template demo for now because normally you should only see your own uh, own one and i don't know why it's not showing so let's do go back a little bit and edit a new menu and just remove uh, and it's uh, let's edit the menu And let's double check the templates library. Yes, that's correct. So here we have the template demo. I'm going to select that one. And, and we see that it still wants to open the incorrect one. Now I'm going to delete that one. May I um, uh, delete these ones? Uh, 
Let me quickly adjust this because that's uh, something strange. Can you directly see me troubleshooting? So now I've seen what I've done wrong. If I go to advanced settings for the content type gallery, so just let's go back to the main page and go back to site settings. Here we go to content types. We are going to select our, uh, our content type, which is demo. Let's filter it in the the template demo and basically we only had set the content type so here we go we can click on advanced settings and here we can paste the url we copied to our uh, to our um, uh, template be aware it's a template so we want to have read permissions on this template and we are going to update sites and lists so net after saving this we can go back to the uh, documents library let's just go to the site go to documents and here we can select now a new and if i'm correct we can uh, select template demo and it shows my template so this is really nice because this uh, we can uh, save this of course but now comes the really important part all right let's leave it open all right it's saved so we can close it we are going back to the templates uh, library and this is our docs so we are going to edit our template and here we are going to say okay we want this as extra as well we are going to save and now somebody else wants to use it and we can again click on the new template i don't know why it's gone oh i'm in the wrong directory here i click on template demo and uh, here we see directly that our template is updated now this is done for one side but in the end you want to use this for every uh, every site that everybody uses the same uh, content so that's what i'm going to show you in our next video but for now uh, this so if you like this video uh, give it a like if you want to know more about sharepoint you can click here thanks for watching